Hi, this is Stephen Birch with Trilogy Visual Media. We're here at NAB 2019. Mr. Samuel Green's in the house from Zoom. We're huge fans. We've been using Zoom since 2009, so we're pretty excited to be here. Samuel, how's it going? It's going great. Great, great. Tell me a little bit about what you guys are bringing to the table here in 2019. Yeah, so uh, so we've been working on our F-Series for a couple years now. We started with the F-8, um, and we were really happy with the response um, to such a small package with such a uh, feature-packed uh, package as well. Um, we made the little brother the F-4. Um, we've been super excited to um, be reacting as quickly as we can to what people want in there. Um, so we now have... Uh, and a look ahead limiter in both of these units. It was added to the F4 just a few months ago via firmware update. Which we're using right here, by the way. Uh, we have a new auto mix um, that we introduced to the F4. It's been in the F8N now for a little while. Uh, and so um, we always are looking to, to make sure we're including the features that people want as soon as we can. Uh, and that has now culminated in a new product for us. All right, so look at this thing. It's compact, it's super, we have hardware knobs. This thing just looks like a little beast. Tell me about it. Yeah, so this uh, is our smallest package for a field recorder we've ever made. Still with six inputs, our high quality F-Series preamps, our F-Series time code generator. Um, we switched up the power options on this unit. For such a small package, we don't think it makes a lot of sense to have an external battery. So we threw an L-Series sled in there, um, which you can get uh, ones that will power it all day, uh, which is important. You could also power double A's and a USB-C port. Um, there's one line output plus the headphone output. Um, you know, such a small form factor for a location sound guy, being able to just, you know, pick it up quick to go record this little thing without having to take the full bag rig. Um, for sound designers, you know, having that smallest package you possibly can, because uh, who knows where you're going to be going. Right. Uh, but internally, um, it's actually the more exciting stuff. Um, so this is our first time implementing a dual AD converter, which gives us um, such a large dynamic range that um, you can't clip the preamps. Um, wait, wait, what? Can't. Am I, am I in focus here? <laughs> can't clip the preamps. Uh, yeah, and, and that's a great feature, but that is coupled with the ability to record 32-bit float files. Now, this is not common practice right now. 24-bit has been standard for a long time, but it is not without negatives. Um, the main one being that it records higher volumes at a greater quality than lower volumes. So somebody is shouting um, and they suddenly start whispering. You either need to raise the gain or that audio is going to be need that you. dynamic range. Exactly. At 32 bit float, everything's recorded equally. So that change in volume, you don't need to adjust the gain. In fact, you don't have to set your gain at all when recording a 32 bit float file. Plug in the microphone, hit the record button, and whatever else happens, there's going to be good audio that you can use in post production. I, I, that even went over my head, like, wait, 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 don't even have to set my gain. Can you say that again? You do not have to set the gain. It is automatically done for you. Uh, it's recorded to a 32-bit float file. Now, those files are actually recorded post-fader. Another thing that in 24-bit would make no sense, because then when you would go to try to raise the volume in post-production, if you wanted the audio that was recorded, it would be unusable. At 32-bit float, that fader's turned all the way down, and you load that file into your DAW, you can normalize it and suddenly the waveform appears. You, you can compare it to a, a vector file in Illustrator compared to a JPEG um, or a JPEG to a raw image. Um, rather than uh, being so set in its ways, a smooth waveform is recorded uh, even if the faders turn all the way down and that waveform is completely usable if you raise the volume. And the noise floor? Noise floor is super low uh, on par with our other F-Series. Wow, wow. Okay, what else does this come with? Uh, so it will come with a bracket that you can mount it under a camera for DSLR use. Um, you know, if you're looking to upgrade your audio from, uh, you know, kind of a handheld style um, and be able to have your easy controls right there, um, uh, it's a nice small package to do that. It's beautiful. Availability? Uh, we'll be shipping in June and, uh, and pricing will be coming out in May along with full details on the unit. Beautiful. Beautiful.